At an event at Stanford University, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken mentioned Taiwan. Blinken said that if Taiwan's semiconductor production were disrupted due to a crisis, it would set off an economic crisis around the world. The comments come days after the U.S. introduced sweeping rules limiting Beijing from obtaining or manufacturing chip, key chip components. Observers have said the measures could impact global chip supplies. Economics Minister Wang Meihua says the effect on Taiwan will be limited. Let's hear from her now. The U.S. regulations target chips, equipment and talent. On the front of chips, they affect high-performance computing chips. Currently, these chips are designed by U.S. companies and manufactured in Taiwan. The restrictions only affect these kinds of high-performance computing chips, so the number of chips affected is not large. The rules don't affect most consumer products. Taiwan manufactures these chips, the quantities aren't high, and Taiwan is just commissioned to manufacture them. The U.S. has laid out some rules for these high-performance chips depending on their functions. The chips that meet a certain function threshold can't be sold in the U.S., but any chips that fall below that threshold are not subject to these regulations. If Taiwanese production were disrupted as a result of a crisis, uh, you would have an economic crisis around the world. So there's a profound stake not just for us, but for countries around the world in preserving peace and stability when it comes to Taiwan and the Straits and to making sure that the differences that exist are resolved peacefully. So that's why we've been, uh, we've been so engaged on this. Blinken stressed the importance of Taiwan semiconductors and of the Taiwan Strait as a trading route. He said that Beijing's changing approach toward Taiwan had profoundly disrupted the status quo in the Taiwan Strait and voiced hope that China would stop trying to change things through coercion and even military conflict. He reiterated that the U.S. was determined to make good on its commitments to Taiwan under the Taiwan Relations Act and support Taiwan's ability to defend itself.